Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Picture Fun. Today we are going to learn how to make amazing fire look images or how to create amazing fire look scene in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. Today we are going to make a amazing fantasy fire look image. So what we have to do first, first we are going to take a new page or new document. Just click on file and select new. Then create a page size take wide 1920 height 1080 and make resolution 300 then press enter or press create button so your new document is ready now we are going to place in some image or we are going to create our background first so first we are going to create our background so we just take our image these all our images so first we are going to take this one so first we're going to select this one by using quick selection tool and select this one so this one is selected now we are going to place this one in our new document so first open your new document and again go to your rock image and simply drag and drop this one and adjust the size of your image so this one is perfectly placed now we are going to add more images first we are going to add our model first so first we are going to our model page so where it is this one is our model and we are going to select this one by using pen tool so this is our pen tool and we are going to select this one zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and start your selection it's take little bit time so be patient and make your selection very fine when you complete your selection, simply zoom out your image by pressing Ctrl minus or Command minus in Mac. Then right click, then go to make selection and make feather radiation zero and then then press OK. So this one is selected. Now we are going to place this image in our new document. So just open your new document. So this is your new document and simply drag and drop this one so this one is placed i'm going to place this one in this portion now we are going to remove some extra areas such like this area and this area so simply select laser tool and select this one and delete this one do the same thing in this area also delete this one and go to selection select and deselect the area minus zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus and go to sky image first we are going to arrange the sky so this is our sky image simply click on rectangle marquee tool and select the sky image i think this, this one is perfect now simply drag and drop this one in your new document and resize your sky image and remove this leaves go to edit select fill and select content aware this one is automatically filled so deselect this one area and place this one behind the rock image because this one is your background image so place it in background so your image look almost good and click on your main image or model image go to filter select camera raw 
and we are going to remove this blue lines so what we have to do we just go to saturation and decrease this blue areas go to hue saturation and adjust this one like an purple so this one is ok then press ok now we are going to add more stones or more images so this one is a simple rock image by png format in png format so just drag and drop this one zoom out your image and place it so this one is placed and we are going to adjust the color of this one so just go to your image and select adjustment or select hue saturation and increase the decrease any decrease little bit light and also make changes on color Increase the saturation also and this one is perfectly matched with your background now add little bit more such like this one is perfect so I select this one and simply drag and drop this one in your page or in your main document and place this one behind your model this time and take a mask layer first we are going to adjust the color of this one so just click on hue saturation create clipping mask and make it a little bit darker and decrease the saturation little bit and increase the color uh, select the color of your work I think this one is match with my background and take mask click on mask layer brush and resize your brush by holding bracket key and apply this make opacity first like 14 percent and then apply this so it's look amazing and look perfect then again make this one duplicate oh sorry first mask both layer merge both layer and then duplicate this one and simply go to edit select transform and select flip horizontal then place in this one in this portion so it's look amazingly 3d and also you can place some extra stones in that portion so I think these are the best stone for this work so go to again quick selection uh, quick selection tool and then select the stone images or mountain images select the complete area and deselect this one by pressing minus and deselect this area and simply drag and drop this one in your new page or new document zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and place this one behind this now again make duplicate I think this one is look amazing this one is look amazing and go to mask layer and 
remove this area make this time opacity 100% and remove this area so your work is almost done and the raw work is almost completed now we are going to add some extra images to provide this one a amazing fantasy look make adjustment little bit on your this image or model image and we are going to provide or uh, first we are going to remove these lines so take a mask layer again go to brush and adjust the opacity like 20% and then remove this one so this one is removed and now we are going to apply first we are going to apply a shadow or creating a shadow so take a blank layer brush and make foreground color black and make opacity 100% and apply this and adjust the size of your brush or circle so just hold shift key so the this one is complete and now we are going to apply a little bit the smart tool so zoom your image and we are going to apply a smart tool on all these areas So this one is done and zoom out your image again and this time we are going to take a new layer and then go to edit and go to fill and make this time 50% gray then press ok and right click and go to clipping mask and go to overlay and go to blending mode and select overlay and now we are going to take first burn tool and we are going to apply this one in this area and add little bit again take mask layer foreground color is black is perfect and now apply this sorry take brush tool and simply apply this Select your horse image or model image, go to camera raw and decrease highlighted area a little bit because the highlighted area is so much so this one is not so look good and make water part also a little bit lower. Contrast is in perfect condition, black area is also in perfect condition then decrease the saturation also and yellow part also then press ok. Now this one is look amazing and this one is placed perfectly in my or your work. So I'm going to add more dead trees. So this one is dead tree. Place this one in upper area and resize the tree image such like this type of tree image. So this one is placed and again duplicate this one and also place in this portion sorry the layer is not selected take the tree layer and place this one okay now go to your background image take mask layer Go to brush tool and make this one like 16% is perfect and apply little bit. Not so much, just little bit apply this layer in this portion. And we are going to place some white effect in behind this model. So take a new layer, go to brush tool and select white foreground color brush tool and 
adjust the size of your brush by using bracket key and apply this sorry make make opacity first 100 percent 100 percent and then apply this adjust the size of your area so this one is selected so the work is almost done and we are going to add some more extra images to provide this one a fantasy look so this one is completed now we are going to add first we are going to change the color of this one so just go to filter camera raw and decrease the exposure provide a black look and do the same thing with this one also then press ok so this one is looked amazing now now we are going to add a sky image this one is for amazing smoky look so just adjust the size of your sky image and first we are going to duplicate this one and click on this one and take mask layer and go to brush tool and select opacity like is 10 percent is perfect and apply this make foreground color black and apply this so this one is done and place this one behind your model image so this one is placed and visible this one and go to masking layer and apply this so this one is almost done and we are going to provide more attractive look so what you have to do we just provide amazing fire look so the area looks like completely burned in different areas so simply go to place this one in upper air area and adjust the size of your image so this one is perfectly placed and make this one duplicate first hide this one click on your texture image and go to blend mode and select overlay select overlay and click on mask and click on brush and remove this area now remove this area so this is done and we are going to add little bit spark this one look this one provide you a fire look so just click on the screening and adjust the sparks image just like this one and also make duplicate this one and add this area also and make again duplicate this one provide in that area adjust the size and place this place it in this area so the work is almost completed and we are going also some more extra images such like uh, some bird images take bird such like this one first just simply select this one by using laser tool and drag and drop this one and deselect this one and make this one blower and select motion blower decrease the size of your motion blower and 
again take one more image such like this one so take this image simply drag and drop this one and go to transform and flip horizontal and adjust the size of this one and again go to filter blower and select motion blower you can add um, more extra images to provide amazing look and go to now we are going to a new layer go to filter and adjust the size of your brush white brush make red little bit and apply this area just apply this so it's look amazing and it's look completely like a burning background So this one is done and we are going to apply little bit redness in our horse image. First we are going to our gray layer and select dodge to and apply these areas. To make little bit brighter. And now go to your horse image brush red brush is okay make this time 100% opacity adjust the size of your brush and apply this go to blending mode and select it overlay adjust the opacity of your brush So this one is almost done and we are going to visible this little bit more. So make this one as a is 20% or 19 17% is perfect and visible this area also little bit. So it's almost done and we are going to add or colorize the complete work. So just click on adjustment layer and select color balance and increase this time little bit blue color not so much just little bit and increase the kind or red color 5% is perfect then press ok now we are going to mask the complete layer in one layer so what we have to do we just select uh, we just hold shift ctrl and alt plus e so your layer is completely masked and duplicate this one this one is just for backup and go to filter camera raw oh sorry cancel this one go to filter select camera raw and first we are going to fx decrease this one little bit so this one this one make is little bit darker so this one is perfect now increase the sharpness and so these are perfect go to split tone and highlighted area make yellow and shadow area this one is red then press ok then again duplicate this one go to filter select nick collection and color fx pro
बी टू द कलर कॉम्बिनेशन इज अमेज लुक अमेजिंग सो दिस वन मेक ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट और ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट एंड इंक्रीज द शेडो एरिया एंड डिक्रीज द हाइलाइटेड एरिया ऑल्सो फाइव परसेंट इज परफेक्ट सो दिस वन इज लुक अमेजिंग देन प्रेस ओके Now we are going to take little bit more image, such like we are going to take uh, or click on adjustment layer and select photo filter. This one is warm filter, so I keep this as same as 25 percent. And again, go to adjustment layer and select this time gradient. No, I don't know need this type of gradient. I need this one. and press okay then press okay and simply go to normal mode and go click on soft layer and again take new layer go to edit select fill adjustment and 50% then press okay then go to blending mode and select this time soft light so we are going to merge one more time just hold shift control alt plus e then duplicate this one and last we are going again with our this image such like this is sky image adjust the size of our sky image and click on mask layer brush Make hundred percent. Fifty percent is perfect. Your work is now completed. So, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe my channel. See you soon with new tutorial. Goodbye.